Concordia for me, it's, I know this sounds corny, but it has been life changing. My inspiration begins with the coaches. Uh, they really care about us as athletes as well as students and they push us really hard to be as successful as we can be. And when I came to visit, I fell in love with the campus, the lake view, so beautiful. I drove and I'm like, wow, that is so beautiful. There have been so many people here that have mentored me in my faith walk, academically and athletically. They just come alongside me and encourage and support me in all that I do. It's like, it's like competing for a family. Being an athlete at Concordia is so unique because it's just really a family atmosphere. You know that there are hundreds of people, not just on your team, but even the partnering teams here that have your back no matter what, can help you out. Everything that you experience with a, a, a good family at home is what you will get here. Time, empathy, um, advice, a, a hand, an ear, a voice, they really do care for you. And it's just an experience I've never had before from outsiders, you know. And just to be here, it's just, I'm here with my family, you know. I'm here with my family. First conference game we played, bottom of the ninth inning, we were down by three runs, and I was able to hit a walk-off grand slam, and that will be my most memorable moment here. I think some of the most memorable times during a meet that I've experienced as a coach since I've been here has been scoring our first perfect 10.0 in a couple heats. That was something that was really exciting and that qualified us for nationals. Women's across, uh, winning here, winning a conference championship uh, in a great game against a great program uh, just this year for a program that just started a few years back and now to win a conference championship, extremely exciting. Women's hockey that just started three years ago to win their first games this year and to see growth like that in a program, um, absolutely exciting. Uh, football has had a ton of games uh, that they've won, you know, nail biters and so on. My team won the national championship my junior year. When we won, we were, we were so excited because we had given our best routine that we could possibly have given two days in a row. So when we came off the mat both times, we were just so ecstatic, and it was just an amazing experience. That's, that's a team I'll never forget. Faith is a large part of our athletic departments. We have athletic chapels on Wednesdays. A lot of our programs are involved in Bible studies and devotions, and we're very involved here in the community within our spiritual life as well. As a Christian athlete, what it means for me is taking God with me on and off the mat, regardless of if it's a bad day, if I have a bad fall, which there's a few of those, it's just bringing his presence and treating the other teams when we go there how Jesus would have treated them. You're called not to just compete with others, but to grow your faith, to be an example of Christ for others. And it was just so amazing and wonderful to be able to express my love for God through the love that he gave me through the sport that he let me be a part of. I'm crying right now because of that. There's really no other greater honor or privilege than being a leader here at Concordia as a as a Christian man and as a baseball player. That it is an experience and it's something that, that I hope everyone gets to experience because of the things that you can do and the people that you meet. And you may surprise yourself with doing something that you've never expected you would do. I mean, Concordia is a wonderful school. I'm really happy that I chose to be here. It's a beautiful campus and I love being on this pitch to play games every season. I'm really happy I chose to come to this school. This whole time being here um, was a blessing. There's so much to talk about. I could talk all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love being here. Yeah.